well, we're doing some repairs. We're trying to, at least on, on uh, Rita here, and trying to just troubleshoot a few things and figure a few other things out. I figured I would just tell you guys what I'm doing. Somebody out there's got this same tractor, maybe it'll help you, because I'm finding it impossible to find any sort of online uh, help for this thing. I can't find a, a parts manual or a service manual for sale anywhere. I can't hardly even find parts for sale online. Um, I've been able to find them through, you know, through the dealer, but they are not easy to find for online stuff. So anyway, I got a little oil leak here. Just got this last night. And you can maybe see that elbow right there, that rubber hose. I just got a, a stick poked it. I was doing some mowing over some, some limbs and twigs and a stick jammed up there and poked it. So it's nothing complicated. I just need to find another little piece of rubber hose. That's not a factory rubber elbow because it's kinked. Um, but I can just go get a little short scrap of hose and replace it the same way. It'll take me, you know, more money and gas to get to the store than it will for a scrap of hose. But anyway, so that's a little leak coming out of the transmission, hydraulic system, blah, 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 blah. No big deal. According to the, it's a big enough system. And according to the sight glass there on the back, we still have plenty. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to get it fixed, obviously, but that's not my real focus today. What I'm tearing into here is trying to work on the full steering because this thing's steering is still fighting me. And what it's doing is when I turn the steering wheel, it, it actually resists. It doesn't want to turn. Um, so it's almost as if like it doesn't have power steering. And at the same time, the wheels just won't turn. Like, or they'll, they'll turn their own way. Like I'll hit a bump and it will actually jerk the wheel the opposite direction. So it's, it's as if the, the wheels are controlling the steering wheel versus the other way around like it's supposed to be. I think because when the engine's revved up, when it gets warm, it starts working. And these, this front steering cylinder here is seeping. I think that cylinder is maybe washed out inside. I'm not 100% sure how that cylinder works. I gotta do a little research. But I think it's messed up internally so that when I'm turning the wheel, it's basically fighting itself back and forth. It's not um, leaking off pressure like it's supposed to or applying pressure where it's supposed to. I think the pump is fine. I think all the hoses are fine. I think it's something in that steering cylinder. And I think as the, as the steering fluid warms up, gets hot from running, then I think those seals that are messed up in there maybe swell a little bit and maybe start to do what they're supposed to again. And that's why, because after I've run it for a while and really been turning a lot and getting that fluid warmed up, then the steering gets seamless again like it's supposed to be. But man, when it is cold, it is it is nothing shy of a fight when it's cold. So, and which of course is a total pain in the butt because like this morning I was trying to do that little, uh, just doing a little job, just blading out some rock. Which, daggum, I forgot to make any video about that. Oh well, this morning I bladed out two dump truck loads of rock for a lady for a place to park her cars. Uh, quick little easy job. Um, but it was a pain in the butt to do it because I couldn't hardly steer the tractor at all. Uh, and you kind of need to have some maneuverability when you're trying to, you know, blade out rock and put it in the right place. Um, I was actually had the manual throttle revved up just trying to keep the engine spinning faster to get my pump running faster, trying to get that oil heated up, uh, which of course it, it basically loosened up and started working right at the end of the job. Go figure. Anyway, so what I'm doing for now, I can't tear that cylinder apart just yet. So what I'm doing for now, I'm just checking my reservoir here. And all there is inside the reservoir, there's a little filter screen that sits in the bottom. I doubt, I highly doubt that's my problem, but we are going to take loose our supply line right here. That's the supply line out of the reservoir that goes to the pump. So maybe if it is obstructed, maybe it's having a hard time getting fluid to the pump, that could be a problem. So we're gonna take that out. We're gonna try to make sure that line is clear. Um, and then we're gonna pull this reservoir out so that we can check that screen. Actually, I can probably tip. Yeah, I can tip the reservoir out here now. We can, we can check that screen right now. I couldn't, I'll try to pull it up through the floor. That's why all that's off and I couldn't pull it out, but let's just pull that out of there and see. Well, it's not exactly pretty. I think I'll just oil my trailer floor here a little bit. It's got, you know, it looks like some debris on it. It's definitely not blinded off by any means. And it, the manual just says to rinse it with diesel, which I've actually got a little bucket of diesel in the truck. So I'll pour some of that in a little pan and just kind of swirl this thing around and try to rinse all the debris off. That's all you do. There's, you can buy a replacement, but it's not required that you replace it on any sort of interval. You just rinse it out. So 
yeah that actually is pretty right in there that's actually really really blocked off there so we'll get this clean get it put back in we'll go ahead and pull like i said we're going to pull the reservoir out um it's got a bunch of sludge and crap in the bottom of it so we're going to dump it out drain it put in fresh fluid and maybe that'll actually help us let's ooh, let's hope um but like i said that cylinder is it's seeping anyway it's going to need some attention i just i can't break it down right now i need the tractor in service so i've got to try to find a way to schedule a maintenance on this thing to get that cylinder pulled out of there and rebuilt so anyway let's get this filter screen clean get all this put back together and we'll see how she does okay so we've got our filter here and you can see the kind of black marks on it black staining um, I don't know if you guys can get the right if I can get the right light on it here to see where it's real bad down low it's, it's by no means obstructed all the way around the whole way around but it's pretty bad in just a couple of spots so anyway the again the book just recommends diesel to wash it off I've got a little bit of diesel right here in this bowl and a toothbrush so we're just going to try to see if we can clean it out a little bit the debris almost looks like metal fines it's kind of weird I don't know what else it would really be but I hope it's not metal fines, <laughs> you know, indicating that something's tore up in my pump or elsewhere in the system. Ooh, dirtied up my diesel a little bit. I'm tip our little bowl on the side here so we can really just rinse the whole thing versus trying to scrub it with a toothbrush. Man, it seems like I, it seems like I look at it and I think it's clean and then work it a little more and I decide it's not clean. So, okay. We're gonna say that that is as done as it's gonna get. I'm going to take some of this diesel fuel and put it inside the reservoir itself here too because there's definitely some there's a little bit of oil but there's a little bit of crap down in there just some sludge that I could use coming out it drained pretty clean like a trick. Diesel immediately ran out of there. And all over my shoe. Put the cat back on it here and give it a good shake and swirl. Well, the supply line's obviously clean. So that's the one that just squirted diesel all over my foot. Or well, at least it's clean here at the reservoir. That'd be the other thing to check, is trying to blow through the supply lines back up to the steering and make sure it's all open. And that I'm getting the fluid that I need for my pump to actually work. Let's go see about checking what other lines we can, taking them off the tractor and flushing through them. Well, I was just sitting here <clears throat> enjoying a day at the park with my kids. I guess I should be watching the kids, but um, editing this video and realized I never did do a closure on it. So I was just going to tell you guys what happened. I, I didn't end up blowing through any of the lines um, 
just because to, to take the other ends of them off and try to clean them out was going to be very labor intensive and I got busy with other things but I took the tractor home and filled it back up with power steering fluid and the power steering has been working great ever since. So whether or not that screen was really the issue or whether or not my fluid was just low because reading up on the diagnostics of this system if it's low on fluid it'll do exactly what it was doing as far as you know it'll it'll work sometimes it'll steer you can still steer without power steering but it's very difficult yes yes that's a boat yeah, it is a boat are you having fun yeah well you go keep having fun go yeah. on okay. um so i don't know maybe it was just actually low on fluid which would make me seem like a total dunce the front steering cylinder does seep fluid but see, it's, it's done this to me off and on a few times, and I've checked the fluid before, and the reservoir shows it's full, uh, and then it still fights me. Now, I don't know if I've checked it running versus off. That probably makes a difference. I don't actually remember, but anyway, it seems like for now, everything's working great. Uh, start the tractor up. It doesn't have to warm up or anything. It just got steering right away, so hopefully it was just kind of a glitch. Maybe that filter was a little dirty. It probably didn't hurt to clean it. Um, but probably more than anything, I was probably just a little low on fluid. So, uh, anyway, just want to close it out, let you guys know everything seems to be working now.